Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. <coughs> the question is, two resistance R1 equal to X ohm and R2 equal to 1 ohm are connected to a wire AB of uniform resistivity as shown in the figure. The radius of the wire varies linearly along its axis from 0.2 mm at A to 1 mm at B. A galvanometer connected to the center of the wire 50 cm from each end along its axis shows zero deflection when A and B are connected to a battery then the value of X is. This question is asked J Advance 2022. Dear student, here we have using there are two concepts. First concept meter uh, wheat stone bridge and uh, second resistance for non-uniform cross-section wire conductor. Here let smaller cross-section radius is A and bigger cross-section radius is B and total length is L then resistance R equal to rho specific resistivity L total length upon pi uh, into AB. I think you have generally most of the student knows this type of question. This is relevant to the SC Verma electric current question number 10. Later, I will make this video on the next session. Okay. So, here we have using this concept. Now, in this question, total length is 1 meter, exactly middle part is connected with galvanometer. Here, R1 is X ohm, R2 is given 1 ohm and uh, we can find out this resistance and this resistance and by substituting the value of meter bit stone bridge or meter bridge, then we can find out. So it is the basic concept. In this question, we read again the radius of the wire varies linearly along its axis from 0.2 mm at A to 1 mm at B. It means what is the meaning of linearly? Means we have to apply unitary method or mid uh, concept of midpoint. For example, 0 0.2. The radius is given at the end A, and here is given 1 at the end B, 1 mm divided by 2. Then 1.2 divided by 2 means 0 0.6 mm at this point. So let we consider point C. Here is the 0 0.6 okay at the center. So here let us first we have to find out the resistance A to C and then C to B. Now resistance from A to C equal to Rho means specific resistivity and L. L means length A to C. Here 50 centimeter is given. Convert into meter means multiply by 10 raised to power minus 2. Pi AB in this here A means first end and A the radius A. What is A is given? 0.2. And what is the radius at the C? 0 0.6. It is in mm. So let us first we have to convert into meters. Mean 10 raised to power minus 3. 10 raised to power minus 3 means 10 raised to power minus 6. Okay. So here we have find out the resistance R A C. Now resistance from C to B. Similarly, specific resistivity, same things 50 centimeter, pi and 
here the radius at the c cross section is 0.6 and and of b the radius is 1 and 10 raised to power again minus 6 to convert mm to meter here 10 raised to power minus 3 10 raised to power minus 3 now 10 raised to power minus 6 now we put the value of this resistance according to the wheat stone beach arrangement here x ohm resistance unknown x by rac and 1 ohm by rcb now substitute this value here rho 50 into 10 raised to power minus 2 pi into 0 0.2 0 0.6 into 10 raised to power minus 6 here again rho 50 into 10 raised to power minus 2 pi 0 0.6 1 mm and 10 raised to power minus 6 now with solving now x upon rac 1 ohm upon rcb now upon up upon goes to the numerator then x pi 0 0.2 0 0.6 10 raised to power minus 6 upon rho 50 into 10 raised to power minus 2 and here 1 into pi into 0 0.6 into 1 into 10 raised to power minus 6 upon rho into 50 into 10 raised to power minus 2. This total terms cancel out. 10 raised to power minus 6, 10 raised to power minus 6 cancel out. Pi, pi get cancelled, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 cancel out. So now remaining terms, x into 0 0.2 equal to 1. So now x equal to 1 upon 0 0.2, x equal to here 2 5s are 10 means 5 ohm so therefore it is correct answer i hope so you understand this question now dear students i will make next video on find out the resistance of non uniform cross section wire resistance so please don't miss it thank you for staying till the end of this video and yes don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.